Hello YouTube, welcome back to the Tap Coupon tutorial. Okay, so this is uh, basically a graphic design tutorial, and uh, also my all the next tutorials will be graphic design tutorials, but I will try to make them easy for you guys to understand. So yeah, let's get started. Today's graphic design tutorial is on how to make this uh, basic smooth abstract wave effect in GIMP. So let's get started. We're gonna open up a new image. Uh, mine is 65 by 640, and I'm just gonna fill it with a base color white. Now I'm gonna go to filters, render, clouds, solid noise, and I'm gonna be changing the settings. My settings are details on 3. I'm gonna check randomize and turbulent. The X and Y size is on 4. Click OK, and you should get this. Now I'm gonna go to filters, render, clouds, difference clouds, and the default settings are fine. It'll work. Click on OK, and you should get something like this. Now, as you can see, the image is a bit dark, so you're gonna lighten it by going to colors, levels, and put the middle indicator on 1.80, and the third one on 177. And we're gonna click on OK. So as you can see, it brightened up the image. So now we're gonna add the blurred zoom. So I'm going to filters, blur, motion blur, and I have blur type on zoom, the blur center on 320 and 320 pixels, the length on 60, and I've checked blur outwards. Click OK. And this will take some time as it is blurring in and zooming at the same time so we're gonna wait and there we have it it looks nice and now what we're gonna do is go to filters distorts <clears throat> and wall on pinch so this gives the image the what we want so I'm gonna put the angle on 155 and I'm gonna click OK and this will be really quick now what we're gonna do is uh, duplicate the layer which is this button right here on the layers tab and if you don't have that you can go to filters uh, windows dockable dialogs <coughs> layers so just click on that Get it here. And now, after we've duplicated the background, we're gonna go to filters, reshow wall and pinch. Except that this time the wall angle is gonna be on minus 400. I'm gonna click OK. And now we're gonna go to mode. I'm gonna put the mode on lighten only. So we're done with the pattern and we're almost done with our uh, wave 2. But now I'm gonna color, go to colors, brightness, and contrast, and just increase the contrast a bit. You know, actually, first we're gonna go to image, flatten image, and now then colors, brightness, and contrast, and go ahead and increase the contrast. And I'm increase it to here, and as you can see, it looks good. And then you can go ahead and change the color to whatever you want. You know. And there, that's it. Your abstract wave is done in game. And I am Tapiku Punk, and thanks for watching the tutorial. And stay tuned for more tutorials and graphic design tutorials on game.